It's your boy King Ed the Great. Represent Screwball Radio, Off the Cuff Radio. Let's get it. So, I want to know what were y'all reaction when you first seen Smile from Tupac Shakur and Scarface. Now, I talked about this on the show of All the Dialogue a couple weeks back. That song is still heavy to this day. That song has moved me, uplifted me, and got me through a lot of depression. I mean, from the opening lines where Pop was saying, there's going to be some stuff you're going to see that's going to make it hard to smile in the future. But through all the, whatever you see, through all the rain and the pain, you got to keep your sense of humor. You got to be able to smile through this BS. And the way they chemistry just balanced each other, they brothers was dropping gems. And you and it hits your heart, it hits your soul, especially pop, man. Our lifestyles be closed caption, addicted to fatal attractions, pictures of actions, be plate in the midst of match, no fairy tales for the young black male. So see me stranded in this land of hell, jail and crack sales, hustles of hard culture, on repercussions while busting on backstabbing vultures, selling my soul for material wishes, fast cars and bitches. Wish I would live a life of legend, mortal lies and pictures. Gracious, you can't help but to feel that. Now, I didn't rap it quite like Pop did because, you know, there's only one Tupac, but I did my best. But Face, man, and his verse, man. Looking back on child memories, I'm still feeling the pain. Turning circles in my ninth grade, dealing cocaine. Too many hassles in my local life, striving to strain. And a man without a focus, life could drive him insane. Stuck inside a ghetto fantasy, hoping to change. But when I focus on reality, it broken and changed. Had a dream of being wealthy, making it big over football. Chose to cook raw, couldn't dig it, it did. And after a while, my mama thanking God for blessing the child. All my mama's got to do now is collect it and smile. Jesus. Man, I mean, them brothers was dropping some jewels, man. And that beat, the beat, man, it's like it hit that soul, man. They, they, they touched that gospel right there. And Face ended it with a prayer. That's what brought the song home right there. And he said, and now a moment of silence. Let us pray. And as you journey in the outer space, may the angels help to lead the way. May the prayers that our families made shine upon your soul to keep you safe. And all the homies that have passed away, and they done greeted you at the past the gates, and as you headed to the tunnel's light, I hope it leads to eternal life. Heavy, my man. You're not going to get records like that anymore, where you have two brothers that came from basically similar backgrounds, of broken, of broken homes, going through the stuff they went through, and they come together with a, for a collective classic like they did. So, just like I said before, this record hit home in a lot of ways, and it also played on the narrative of Tupac being alive, because this came out like a year after his death, when everybody was going crazy, thinking he was still alive. But it's a classic record, man. Definitely something you could play when you're going through something tough. And it also shows the genius behind these two artists. So, let me know what you guys think. Subscribe, hit the like button, holler.